Hi guys, I just wanted to do uh, another quick video, uh, like all of my videos, on uh, these fig cuttings that I've got here. Um, and the reason why I want to do a video on these is because they don't look great, particularly this one, it's kind of hard to see. But uh, it's quite black and uh, dark looking. And um, what happened was these are very kindly gifted to me by a, a fellow growing or a plant enthusiast. And uh, the varieties are White Madeira, um, Caldidam Noir and Verdino del Nord, which are three very much sought after varieties. And um, I sourced them on Etsy. Uh, now, I'd never purchase uh, coatings off Etsy or e e my eBay myself because they're rife with scammers. Um, but these uh, coatings um, were sent to him wrapped in damp paper towels, which is something that you should never do. Uh, because what happens is in transit, uh, if they spend a long time in transit, they will succumb to mold. And it looks like these two here are not the best, uh, particularly this one. Now I did a scratch test on this and you can see it's still green. But if you look closer at some of the, the nodes here, that does not look great. Now in fairness to the seller, he did wax the ends, um, which is good, but it's just not uh, enough to keep the mold off. Uh, these other ones don't look too bad, but again, I'm, I'm going to hedge my bets. Um, I've had or I've purchased coating, coatings before that were uh, wrapped in paper towel and they all succumb to mold. Uh, and that's happened more than once. Um, so what I'm going to do is I've scrubbed them already with a thick bleach solution and um, I'm just going to let them dry. And then after that, I'm going to put them into this uh, box of perlite, uh, it's actually perlite and vermiculite mixture. Uh, I wanted to go with as sterile a solution as I can. Now this isn't, obviously it's sterile, I haven't sterilized it, but um, it's as sterile as I can get for the time being. And uh, I'm just gonna chuck them in there and hope for the best. But um, yeah, I just wanted to uh, put that out there. If you're getting cuttings off anybody and they're wrapped in paper towels, really what you want to do is um, disinfect them as soon as possible. and. Uh, get them into a, a, a sterile uh, an environment as possible. But uh, watch the space, we'll see. And um, I, I, the other problem with this as well, because this, these are purchased off Etsy, I actually don't know that they are actually what they are. Uh, if I do manage to grow them, it won't be a year or two before I can find out if they are actually these varieties, because uh, the only way to tell is uh, to get the fruit off them. Anyway, I'll keep you posted on this one. Take it easy.